Hello guys. Hi. Huh? <laughs> Welcome. Today I'm unboxing the M50 Canon 4K camera mirrorless. I say best camera for vlogging. Uh, best camera for anything you want to do in 1080p. And then the only mirrorless Canon option out there that you can use your old lenses for the M50 Canon. EOS Canon M50. This is a no brainer. Hello, guys. Welcome to another edition with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin, and you're welcome to another time out with me. And today we are unboxing the M50, the famous M50 in such a little time released this year. And it's become so famous and popular and most talked about camera right now, I think. And we'll be getting into that. And after you do subscribe on this channel, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe right now. Push on the button at the end of the screen this way and um, you can subscribe right away and you'll be connected to everything we do here. Um, we got a short movie coming up. We're into music movies and more entertainment tech reviews and reviews of movies. Okay, so we do all that and more. Anything entertaining comes on this channel. No dull moment. Now, this is why we're here. But also, before I go over that, I should tell you that I might be off screen for a while, and I know I have been because I'm preparing for my short movie, and um, that's the movie I think uh, will um, change everything. I'm going to be shooting this Sunday, the 22nd of April, so I'm going to be, I might be off um, before the shoot, and a little bit after um i might be off air for a while um just so i could edit it and get it done as soon as possible so we could share it out there and everybody could get to watch this epic hopefully epic um movie that will be the talk of the world i hope i hope watch out for it just like I prayed for Black Panther and every other movie out there I did review on. I pray for this one and I hope you support me on this one. So, especially when it comes out, I will need you to like, share, comment and share, 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 share. I mean, that's that will be the key to getting the impact that we want. So, um, I will do that campaign later on. But here we go with the unboxing of the M50. And this is the camera I'm going to be shooting on. I'm going to work with the manual settings and I'm going to shoot a good movie over with this camera. I already know what I'm going to get. And I know that when I do it right, you will get this camera as well because it is a no-brainer. This is, this is the best thing that happened from Canon for a long time. And generally from ca every camera out there, this is, it is affordable. I mean, the ADD is even lot more expensive. And I would choose this over the ADD any day and any time. This is like ADD plus 4K. So now I, I did do a review on my light, uh, the newer, sorry for the distraction, by the way. Newer, um, what's it called? CN160, this light. I did do a review, but I lost the footage. I love the clip. I really don't want to go back. I don't have the time to go back into it. So I'm just going to, um, cause I already see I need some light in here. So I'm going to set it up. This is also some of the stuff I got ready for my short movie. See that? Just so you know, it's very bright. Okay. Um, it came in a pair. Well, what I got came in a pair with some stands and so this will be my review for that as well well uh, not review i mean it's good it's classy it's affordable and it's bright it does the job so um I'll, I'll put a link along with this camera in the description at the end in case you need to get it all right so i'm going to just uh, brighten a little bit more mm, i don't think i need it all the way all right so we're good here this is not the brightest you know because I think it will go blasting if I go beyond this. That's how bright it is. I'm just bouncing it against the ceiling and then, you know, just to have a little bit of shadow, but that's okay. 
at least you can see me better and we can see our uh, stuff okay here we go now we opening for the first time the unboxing is taking place all right that's the camera over there you know when I do stuff I always have a picture of what I'm doing in the background okay now let's go um, I'm getting better at this I don't rip up things anymore I hope today was not gonna be different okay we did it no rips uh -huh. here is your warranty um, you know purchase documents the EOS manual this is thick you know if we can if you can discipline yourself to read this stuff it really helps it really makes a difference but usually we don't have the time but I'm gonna try and do some scanning you know what I mean um, this is online photo blah 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 if you're interested in that register okay register your camera if you're gonna keep it all right so it's pretty easy pretty simple nothing much besides the camera and here we go and before we get to the camera proper I just want to show what else is in here we got a strap I wasn't expecting this I just thought I got the camera alone so but this is a plus added bonus we got the battery tink -a -ding -a -ding. the battery and of course the battery charger that will be all that comes in if you get the body alone and if you have already gotten um, the EOS um, your DSLR cameras all you have to do is get the um, if you have a lot of lenses you know that's another one I mean win-win for me is that I got you know I got the lenses I have a lot of those lenses so I'm gonna just um, so I decided to settle for the body alone of course which will save me a lot of money if I do need the, uh, the lenses later on I might go ahead and get it but for now you know um, keeping on my budget and, and plans for the movie this is just enough this tiny thing right here right well we'll check it out i'll get some f test footage later on but this is for now it's just strictly unboxing i'm gonna fix the uh, the camera on with the adapter because i got the adapter so i could use my old lenses so let's check out we have to check out the adapter and see how well it works in case you want to do the same all these links with the adapter will be on it like I told you if you get it uh, get it from our links it will be at the same price as if you go get it from Amazon the only difference is that we get a commission or I get a commission get a commission you know you support the channel when right? those are one of the few ways you can support the channel you share comment like and then buy products that you need for the same price so um, if you do enjoy this program you want I'm sure you would like to support to every any way stress-free to you all right so when you get this product we get a commission you know everybody's happy so you feel like you're supporting you know like i said you could support by doing that buying any of our products you know and i tell you i don't buy i don't i will never put out a link of something i haven't tested that i don't know how good it is if i haven't tested it then i i must know investigate before i put it out we have some little experience and when we tell you this is good trust me uh, it is good all right so get the link if you want along with the um along with the adapter it's about a thousand about a thousand dollars body and adapter all right so we're going to open the adapter now and try it on okay enough to say uh, the adapter reminds me of my Canon 50, the nifty 50 lens. Ooh. It's going to be hard to part with with this lens. I love it so much. So This reminds me of it and it's going to be the first lens I test and see how well it does because I really can't see how I shoot a movie with close-ups better than this. So... I'm gonna try it first with that and see how much the crop 
factor I have to face and then we'll take it from there and start thinking about solutions. Now here is the, here is it, here it is, here it is. All right, uh, position this a little bit more, yeah, so we have better light. This is it, this is it, uh, looking funny shaped, it's got um, mount adapter EFX, EF EOS M, and it's got uh, nice build, a little bit heavy, because uh, I think it has this uh, shoe, um, how would I call it, market mount. Um, but the idea is uh, if you need to, you, you mount it on this on the tripod to have like a balance. When this is on here, you have like a balance instead of this being here. And then a lens, this long comes on it, it will kind of be shaky. So to give it that uh, extra balance somewhere like almost in the middle, you know, now I think that was a good thought. Now, here we go. We're going to put on the, the mount. Take off this over here. And don't forget this guy. All right, so quickly, quickly, um, we go on to we go on to this one and add this. All right. So this is what you're getting. It's a flip camera. Okay. Now let's put this bad guy on that bad guy and align it up. What are we looking for? Oh, got a white dot over there. Okay, I got it, I got it. So we'll put the white to the white and then twist. We should have it on seated neatly. All right, in other words, this can get the mount instead of this. So let's go on and see what we have. Now this won't be, this is not a lens. It's just an adapter, so you still need a lens. And like I said, my Nifty 50, my EF 50 millimeters will be my first trial. Even though it's only for close-ups, yes. And close-up is key. It's always a killing shot in movies, so I ain't gonna play with that. I've had it for years now. With my 60D, I got it for my 60D and uh, it's still saving my life to your date. Okay, so let's go on and see how this plays out. Now, this probably might be one of the first videos out there showing the adapter at work. I haven't seen any myself, maybe they are, but I haven't seen. All right, we got it locked down. Yay! Sweet, nice and easy to hold. Um, small, but by the time I rig this thing up, it's going to be. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got my stuff ready. Made another video for YouTube with the T6 uh, I, and I had it on this, and I said I was going to. That was going to be my um, short movie camera. That was what I was going to use, but um, I had a change of heart and settled for the m50 so i formatted the wrong uh, sd card which had all this um unboxing and so under this video as well you're gonna find the link for this you know i already set it up and i think it is good i'm only gonna get the follow focus some other time i don't need it for this movie I'll be fine without it. I'm going to get the follow focus and set it up here. And this will be ready to go. Maybe some external batteries or stuff. I'll just build on this from time to time. and make it a lot more crazier. You know, along with this camera for as long as I can use it before I get into big time. Hopefully, the short movie takes me there real fast. It, um, I'll put the link on the description in the description down below along with every other thing. This is the newer newer um you'll find out with quality and affordability in mind so no it's not gonna be crazy expensive it's about a hundred and something yeah dollars and it's 
affordable. If you put in the lens, if you want more, you put in the uh, follow focus, then it's going to be a lot more expensive. But still affordable. All right? All right. So we'll talk about that later. So this guy, even though it's light, but at the end of the day, it's going to gain some weight as, as you increase your gear. All right. So let's test our... Oh, now... Uh, my battery is not charged. I'll check on the battery life and see what's in there. I do have some backup batteries. All right. Um, that I bought for the 60i. Same batteries for this one, but it's not uh, the same manufacturer. They're reliable. They've been tested. It worked pretty good on the Canon T6i. I believe it worked great on this, but I'm not going to be the. It's not going to be the first battery that comes into the camera for the first time I, I just don't want to do that so i'm going to get this one if it has some charge i'm going to use it if it doesn't then i'm going to charge it up a little bit and come back and show what i need to show so i think that's smart um out here on the battery you have to click push a button to open it so press hard it's so like you have to push to open Aha, you heard that click? Okay, so here we go. Mm, how does it go? Like this, I guess. Doubt if it's this, I doubt if there's power. Okay, we're gonna power on for the first time. There is power. Battery got some life. This is not so advisable, but I just have no choice. I just wanna have it turned on and you know, I'll set on the date and all stuff. Um, I just want the first power on for the camera should be the original battery. So I'm um, pretty much cool. Um, battery's got some charge, it's working, and I'm going to set on the date and time, and that I can do without you looking at me, okay? So, um, this is it, um, works pretty good, camera settings and buttons are different places, we'll figure that out. You, the next video on this may just be the actual movie, because I told you I may not have the time to make a video. Because I'm working on location, trying to get all my gears and uh, actors and actresses, rehearsals and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Watch out for the um, short movie. Um, shooting on 22nd. Please bear with me and don't disappear. Stay connected. I'll try to send up updates. Uh, updates on the movie before or immediately after. Alright? So this is me signing out for a while. So for those who don't know... Um, it's got a mic input, which is another added feature, but no um, headphone monitoring for the audio, which I will need on set for my movie, but that's okay. I, I got a way around it. I got the Zoom H1 and then pass my uh, road mic to it and connect that to my headphones and I'm good. I can hear the sound firsthand. And, you know, I'll talk more about that setup later on um here yeah, so and then we have the so we have the hdmi port here and then another port which is probably charging all right we'll figure that out and we've got uh of course the wi-fi wi-fi connector here button over there and then we've got a screen and we've got a set of buttons i'm looking for the sd card now the SD card slot. We have the mic, mic over here. Oh, I hope you see that. Interesting. SD card. Where are you? This slot is right here with the. Oh, I see. So we got a uh, SD port right here where the battery is at. We got it in. All right. So we got our SD card in there, same port with the 
battery and um, got me for a minute confused and then we're ready to go we have to do right now is try out lenses and and get some shots going on thank you for watching have a good day bye <laughs>